Hey everybody, how are you? Great to see you. Well, this is a little pop-up live stream. We're just recording it live because we're actually testing a new PC out, plus all of the equipment. So as I'm sure you can probably imagine, we've got to do a lot of testing. You know, with four cameras, two microphones, a closed internal microphone, a roaming camera, which I'm going to go and use in a minute. Lots of things to do. So of course, we have to be absolutely sure that everything works. And considering on last live stream on Wednesday, it was a little bit down to the wire as to whether we could actually broadcast, but we managed to do it. So we've done a whole PC swap change in record time, and now we're doing some proper testing today. Now we've got opportunity to do so. Brilliant. OK, well, we obviously know that corner cam is working OK. Let's have a whiz through some of the other cameras, and we'll make sure that everything else is working. I'm going to get down here ready for, ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. There we go. So that's going to have a little there we go, off and spin and slide and around the place. I'll see if I can stay static. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah. Right. So Aidy's going to do a little bit of adjustment here and there. Um, so that's nice. And then when he's ready, we're going to go over to uh, we're going to go to the overhead cam. Hey, overhead. Oh, wicked. How, where does my thumb? There you go. That's a thumbs up, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. You can just see my boyish good looks in the viewfinder there. Hello. Shall I come around this way? There we go. Well, that's quite disorientating. Right. So we've been doing some adjustments on the top uh, on the overhead camera as well. And as you can see down here, um, when AD goes on to Rome cam. Whoa, there we go. I may not get up from this position ever again. All right, Rome Cam. I'll tell you what we're going to do with Rome Cam because it's so awesome. Let's do as the name would suggest. Let's go roaming. Right, before I show you the awesomeness down here, uh, let's just show you a little bit of the tech. Um, because often when we're streaming, of course, the main event is the painting. Um, but of course, it's also very nice to see all the other tech that's going on. So there, there's Corner Cam. Uh, where we just uh, introduce ourselves on. Obviously got the paint bench. Uh, this is how I chat to people over on YouTube and can see what the stream's going like. Um, obviously got lots of tools because, well, this is quite a handy thing because we're always adjusting the feet on the uh, tables. So I need to keep an adjustable spanner here. There we are. I was just actually doing this before we came on um, uh, on air to record this. So that's my adjustable for, for sorting the feet out. And of course we need to get a level surface it's really, really important for us, as I'll allude to uh, in a little while. Let's go over onto the paint bench, uh, the scene of all of the painting here. It gets everything on it. Look at that for a work of art. How cool is that? Um, so yeah, the last paint bench, which lasted about 10 years, um, is, is, a, is an incredible work of art. So I, I'm, I'm trying, I reckon another eight years time. Look, this should be just about ready. Uh, so lots of other chemicals. There's all my paints. Lots of things going on there. Rubber mallet, because you always need a rubber mallet. And then uh, this incredible thing down here, uh, we painted, uh, I think, about a week or so ago. And this is actually forming a part of a commission for a client. Uh, looking pretty awesome, if I say so myself. Now, that is, uh, at the moment, it's 320 centimetres long by 150 wide. Uh, so this is going to have a finish size of 300 by 130, which is the spec and the size that the client wants. And this is a second variation for him and his wife. We've done another one very similar already, but this is just a slightly different um, way into to the same brief. Looking amazing. I've done some incredible things with that when we were when we were recording that. And uh, oh, there we go. There's our there's our space hopper. It's that under the table. Uh, people often uh, if people often ask uh, about the paints and how good are the paints. Well, look, this is an enamel paint that's supposed to crack. There you go. That's not bad, is it? That's how good we are at chemistry here. Um, that's always good fun, isn't it? Look at that. Love that. Fantastic. Work of art in itself, that. Uh, there we go. Don't forget, guys, you can follow us on all the major social media networks. And uh, big things happening over on YouTube at the moment, growing rapidly, which is excellent. And then we've got the other camera slider here, which is uh, one of our pan, tilt and zoom cameras on a custom made sliding track, which gives us a really nice a viewpoint. There we go. So Aidy's just clicked that on. Really cool. I like that. It gives us some great pan shots on there. And then finally, we've got the overhead cam, which is on a repurposed television bracket. Um, and that gives us the ability to move it down, sideways, up, 
push, adjust, tilt, rotate, all that kind of thing. So we've got plenty of angles that we can change the camera on. You see uh, Adrian's just having a click away now in the background, changing that. Let's, uh, there we are. So that's moving uh, via his mouse uh, in control. Uh, brilliant. So that's the camera. So let's have a look at what's going on down here because we painted this on Wednesday. Now, Wednesday was a bit of a, a stressful uh, build up to the live stream, even though the live stream went amazing. And of course it went amazing because look at what's on the table. I think you'll agree that's that's quite an unusual painting. And the colour scheme is gorgeous. Now, if you did see it, great. If you didn't, then I'm sure somewhere there'll be a link for you to follow. Um, it was very tempting to put some of the warm colours in, you know, if I'd have gone for a red or an orange or a yellow. Uh, but actually, no, I stuck to my guns and we just kept to this colour palette of greens, lime greens and purples and, and some blue. And doesn't that look amazing? We're going to go down in just a second so you can see some of the close ups of it. Um, but absolutely had a whale of a time. I, I loved it, to be honest. I could have carried on all night. Um, but yeah, incredible. Uh, beautiful, beautiful swoops and arcs and loops all intersecting. Little like vapor trails across the sky, don't they? Let's let's start over in this corner. Let's go and give ourselves a look. Some really cool effects uh, coming out in this now. You know, and we're 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 really quite up close now. We're only about six inches away from the canvas, but hopefully this is giving you uh, some idea about the details that uh, have have emerged out of this as it's been curing over the last two or three days, and particularly where all the colours meet and intersect over each other, they just look fantastic. And of course, we've got all the light panels on at the moment, so it may be a little bit reflective, but it has had a chance to dry. And it's not as shiny as it was on the night, which is great. So hopefully you should start to be able to see some of these amazing features starting to come out, even though there might be some reflection in it. You can probably see the camera in some places. But, the, but this is nice. This is what Rome Cam's all about. This, this is the money shot, isn't it? This is getting your nose right into everything and having a look, see what's going on. Um, let's go over to this corner. Now we were using a blue, this metallic blue. I'm going to see if I can get down here so you can see. It's quite quite difficult. But actually, as you drag and thin out this blue, look what happens. You get all these little trails. Um, so you go from this very dark blue into this metallic, and it has this amazing sort of shimmering quality. I don't actually know what word to use to describe it. All I can say is it looks amazing. Um, we also pulled in a colour called water blue, uh, which is that kind of aquary kind of greeny colour. I don't know why it's called water blue, but that's the official no name of it. Um, and again, that's pulled out in certain places and that's just brought a real nice kind of water uh, kind of aqua theme to everything. And of course, one of the stars of the show is that incredible, these two lime greens that I used, which uh, which I think just looks incredible. And then one of the most underused colours that we've got here, um, I don't know how well I'm going to see this because it's very shiny, is this metallic, let's try there, this metallic purple. Absolutely unbelievable, that is. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and that's come out particularly well. Now, here's a quite interesting look. Hopefully, you can see the difference as I move between matte surfaces and gloss. So where we have paint that's really been dragged around and, and is spread out, it's gone quite matte in its appearance. And yet we've got the glossiness of the thicker paint where the two matte meet each other. And it's one of the things I can do with the paints is, is to play about with those textures as well. So it does add more dimensions uh, to the artworks and you've really got to see them for real, you know, to be able to appreciate that. So we're going back towards the middle now. And that's a really nice river where water blue is mixed with a little bit of lime and some black and some blue. And we've got those really, really powerful streaks, those multiple streaks going across. And then we're back into the lighter side of things now. And there's again, the further you go in, the m you get to see the most amazing details. It really does look superb. Um, OK, so moving over now. Uh, now, we did put some gold and some copper in. You may have seen flashes of that already. And um, there isn't a huge amount, but it's just, you know, just segments in all the right places. So I think whoever owns this, you know, is going to start to see just some of these very fine uh, fronds and edges and almost like lightning streaks just glistening and lighting up as the light hits it throughout the day. So I think that's good. That's particularly impressive and I like the way that the gold does tend to move and streak as you mix it um, and you wouldn't necessarily notice that or see it particularly uh, certainly on the stream um, but as you see it in real life now which is what I'm trying to give you the best version of real life with the camera uh, it really does 
it looks like lightning. It's incredible, incredible effect. One of the reasons why it's so expensive, I am no doubt. Uh, so moving over again, going back into the purple on the other side, uh, this time mixing with some blue and some white to give us some nice sky tones and some streaks looking really nice. And here's one of my favorite bits. Let me just take it to this. Look at the depth of this. We've got we've got the the, the streak going over the top of the arc right over everything. And but then we've got one underneath. And just when you think, oh, there's another one underneath. But underneath that is another one. You know, and it's great. So that's layer upon layer upon layer. And this technique is brilliant for doing that. And if you want to see how I did it again, I'm sure you'll find a link somewhere, probably around this video somewhere, um, probably either in a description or my bio, depending on where I'm posting this, of course. Um, and then we just finish off look going into this where the gold is. Again, we've got all these multiple layers crisscrossing over each other. Just looks fantastic. And there we are back into the corner again. And that, guys, was the one that we did on Wednesday. So I was really, really um, anxious to show you because I just couldn't wait to. I think, But that looks awesome. Really super happy with that. And all done with one of these. That's it. My pole and two types of window squeegee on the end. This was the small one, uh, which I kind of finished off with and was able to get some of those uh, more finer uh, points. And then use a slightly larger one, which I don't know where that is. Ah, there it is, right on the edge. <laughs> Stuck to it. And there we go. That's the, that's the other one we used. And that did all the early applications, all the big, proud colors that went on, first of all. Um, and that was it. And yet, yeah, look. Look at that. Look at that. How amazing does that look? I think you'll agree. So, right. Okay, let's pop room cam down on there. And go back onto corner cam. Great. Let me know what you think of that. I'd really uh, be keen to hear your thoughts and your comments on that. But I think it looks amazing. Anyway, that's the test done. Um, I'm, uh, Aidy's got uh, in my ears. Have we, how have we done? Have we done thumbs up on that? As nothing's broken, has it? All looking good. <laughs> We're going to get some. We got some thumbs up. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, we, we might want to have a sound. Have we, we tried the sound effects, buddy? Should we just try that? See, let's try. Let's try some sounds. Hi, how are you? What else can we try? How did you do that painting? I did that painting with... Imagination. <laughs> so we, it, wor it works. Great. Okay. That, uh, my friends, is the test done. Thank you uh, for tuning for in and watching this. Uh, we just had a little wander around, haven't we? We've just got an opportunity to hang out for 10 minutes. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, we're live again on Wednesday. Uh, there'll be links posted around social media, or you can find that on the website and just click the live tab, suarez.co.uk. It's all over there on the back wall for you to have a look at. Uh, other than that, have a great day. We look forward to seeing you soon. Mm.